Hi guys, Tangsen here. Looks like we have a new blaster on the market. So this is the CP33, a uh, short dart blaster over here. So today we're just going to check out the listing. There is a video that I found which is in Mandarin. So later on we'll take a look at that and I'll try to get as much information out of it as possible. So as of now, let's just take a look at the listing. So this is another close-up picture of the blaster. Unfortunately, it only comes with black as well as this sand color. But an interesting thing to note is this magazine over here. Okay, so it's a Mac Fed uh, blaster itself, and this magazine over here does remind me of the LP55, the so called the um, Mark Zone 2.1 kind of inspired blaster that I reviewed the other time. So, if that's the case, then of course it is a, at least something that okay, is good whereby you can uh, use the uh, magazine itself. We can see that the design is basically similar over here you have the flap over here so very likely you can use any other kind of magazine setup other than yeah this or if it is compatible from for the the other one right so let's just take a look at the price itself it says here it is around 136 so i would say it's, a, it's around 20 plus sgd so you have to convert to some other currency if you want to um uh, okay so these are just more pictures of it okay very kind of um i think it's pretty standard nowadays okay what what are, how, what, how it operates but let's check just check out the uh, video itself i think there are quite a number of interesting features i've watched it before and yeah let's do it now all right so uh we have this gentleman who's uh, firing over here nothing much okay yeah okay again uh this is just the packaging all right okay so it says that uh this piece is actually a uh, metal piece Right. CNC says uh, pretty hefty. Okay, if you don't like the muzzle, you can actually uh, change it to the small version. Mm. Okay, so that is basically the safety itself. Okay, so we can see a safety. And uh, yeah, let's, let's take a look. Okay, so there's something interesting. It says the trigger and the safety catch is uh, both um, made of metal. Right. Okay, so I think did I miss something? I think I missed the priming of the blaster. Let's just okay. So uh, all right. So let's take a look the priming. Oh, okay. So as you can see, the prime is a small piece over there. Uh, doesn't seems to be the most comfortable. But then again, it say it's made of metal as well. So seems like a good value. Alright, so the uh, adjustable sights, uh, metal stock, you can change I think 5. This is interesting, you can open up the stock and uh, put your hand through. And of course this is Mac fat. Right. Okay, so the uh, recommendation is like uh, uh put four or five anything above five i think is uh kind of me kind of uh jam yeah <coughs> right yeah so it says yeah more than five in my jam okay oh okay so now we are going to talk about the front piece over here it says it can be removed let's so let's check it out Okay, press that button and can remove. Seems pretty customizable. Uh, yeah, they didn't talk about this piece. I'm not too sure whether it is in use. Probably not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think the setup from what I'm looking at is more is closer uh, to the uh, Mark 2.1 or shall we say the Mark 2.1 inspired blaster. Yeah, and it seems uh, quite a pretty good build. Okay, so let's just recap. This is meta. This safety is meta. This is meta. This is meta. Okay, this piece over here is plastic. Uh, I think this is also CNC. So all in all, I think it's pretty uh, value for the uh, amount they are asking for. But uh, then again, uh, I am 
not liking the color <laughs> why don't they just offer some other colors i do not know but anyway yeah so uh not too sure whether i want to uh, kind of ask whether i can obtain one uh yeah so i'm tungsten thanks for watching bye